Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Secretary, good to see you. Uh, you're a fine witness, and I appreciate your creative and imaginative and positive programs and your national presentation to the public on educational matters. There are lots of things we could talk about, uh, arts and education, libraries, uh, special ed, and IDEA. Um, but let me f uh, focus on uh, the professional development of teachers in math and science. And then, if time allows, I'd like to get to the foreign language uh, education program that you would zero out uh, and leave us in a situation where the Chinese government is spending more money in this country on foreign languages than you are, or we are. Um, but science education, the proposed budget uh, proposes the consolidation of the math and science partnerships program again, um, and the budget request of $150 million is for, this is for the entire block of consolidated programs is less than was provided for math and science partnerships in 2004. Uh, and about a third of what used to be in this under the Eisenhower grants of some years ago. Now, I understand you're under pressure to make sensible cuts, but this is slashing. And, and it's not good enough to say, well, we're doing better than the Ryan, Romney, Santorum, Gingrich, Paul budgets would do that wouldn't take us back to 2004. They'd take us back to 1994 or 1904 or whatever. Um, so, uh, you know, how, how can you do that? <laughs> And let me go on and on, along these lines. Um, the Higher Education Opportunity Act uh, included a provision, a really quite inexpensive provision, to provide a database on STEM educational programs, assistance for people to study uh, college, graduate, science, technology, engineering, and teaching in those areas as well. Um, it's never been funded. It's, it's, this is really minor, and it would really help if it have a major uh, uh, impact. And furthermore, teach grants. How can we make the teach grants more attractive for prospective teachers in science and math? So, so a lot there. I think obviously your advocacy and leadership on STEM is so hugely important. We actually have multiple pots of money that are, that are uh, funding the STEM areas. But the, let me just jump in there. The principal funding for teacher professional development has been the math and science partnerships. And so yeah. well, that principal program has not been made up with bits and pieces of other programs. Right, right. So we have, as you said, $150 million for the effective teaching and learning STEM. I would say that the $2.4 billion we spend on teacher professional development is often poorly spent, and we need to look there. But so much of what's going on with Race to the Top grants, with I3 winners, are in the STEM areas. We've made that a competitive priority. And so we're going to continue to invest very significantly there. And then finally, obviously, we're pushing very hard to recruit 100,000 new STEM teachers to come in and have some really interesting public-private partnerships that are moving in that direction. Well, you could recruit them better if you made this, the TEACH program really work. Oh, sorry, on the TEACH, yeah. Uh, if you helped with the database to help yeah. people understand what financial is assistant, yeah. uh, assistance is available for them to study yeah. in the STEM areas, uh, both uh, relatively inexpensive programs considering yeah. the impact that I, they would have. Your point on the, on the TEACH grants is actually a really important one. I think too many folks who got the TEACH grants actually didn't either go into teaching or stay in teaching, and how we better target that for folks who are in it for the long haul, how we do it maybe a little bit later in their college career where they're more committed. Obviously, if they don't go in, those grants become loans. It really puts them in a bad position. And if we emphasize more folks with that commitment in the STEM areas to go work in disadvantaged communities, I think those, target, those dollars should be targeted in a much more strategic way. In a much more strategic way. Yes, uh, let me just press you a little bit more on, on the teacher professional development. I mean, you've said science education is central, central to our effort to restore American leadership in education worldwide. Um, it doesn't look to me like when you consolidate the single most important program about professional development in math and science with a bunch of other programs and then reduce the amount to you know less than a third of what it was under the Eisenhower grants mm -hmm. or below what it was eight oh. years ago uh, for the math and science partnerships alone that you really are saying this is central Right. So again, let me just sort of walk you through. It's a fair, fair debate or fair critique, but just to walk you through, $150 million for the effective teaching and learning in STEM, $30 million for the fund for the improvement of education in the K-12 math uh, innovation space, 
eighty million dollars for the set aside for effective teachers and leaders and state grants to support STEM teacher and leader preparation and one hundred ninety million dollars for the presidential teaching uh, fellows program in the STEM area. So there are multiple ways that we're trying to get at this. But I think your basic point of how critical this is to the country, we absolutely agree and again welcome that continued conversation of how we get there together. Thank you. Gentlemen's time has expired. Mr. Secretary.